What is going on guys? It's the Mad Dragon. We're switching it up today. We're doing a bit of Vermintide, which is a real interesting game. Uh, it recently came on to the Xbox Game Pass. Uh, I'll sign it in the background here. Uh, so it's a free game if you've got Game Pass. If not, it's something ridiculous, like 60 quid. Um, but I picked it up the other day. Uh, me and a couple of friends were playing it, uh, just casually as we were going. I thought, oh, it's quite a fun little video. It's a sort of a combination of Left 4 Dead meets Warhammer is the best way I can think to describe it. Uh, we've got a little video here of this dude. This is after you finish the prologue. I did do the prologue. Prologue is quite useful uh, just to let you know all the controls, all the different things that you have to do, different weapons, what they do. I just thought it was a really interesting game. I thought some people might want to check it out. It is quite a big game to download. It's like 65 gig or something. So if you were like, oh, I don't really know if I want to delete a game to download it off of Game Pass. Uh, I thought I'd check it on in the background for you guys to see. We've got some fire demon coming out of the water. She comes over and uh, gives us a drink. There's some lovely visuals, though. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to skip past this. If you guys download the game, you, of course, you'll be able to watch that whole video. Uh, but I want to get into the meat of the game. So this is how the game works. So you have five uh, sort of main characters you can play as. We've got the Marcus Kruber. We've got Barden Gorkinson. <laughs> uh, Carillion. Uh, Victor Salzbier, Spire, I don't know, and Sienna F F F Fraganosaurus, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so there's uh, there's a couple of characters. So this guy is like a, he has sort of like a, a halberd and uh, like a hand cannon. The dwarf has uh, like an axe and a crossbow. The archer has a bow and arrow and like a dagger thing. This guy is a bit chaotic. He's got like a cutlass and like revolvers. And then finally, you've got the uh, sort of mage character here. This is the one I've been playing as, uh, who has like a staff that fires magical firebombs and like a. You can choose different weapons and swords and stuff. Uh, but I thought we'd jump in. I'm going to go back in as this guy. Uh, so each of these characters also has like three different versions of each character. So as you rank up, you actually unlock more characters, and each one of those has a special ultimate ability or new weapons and stuff. Um, so I'll go back to the guy I've been playing with. Um, I got some stuff. Right, this is the sort of. <laughs> Sorry, friends, I'm talking over you, apparently. Uh, this is the main area. This is like where you come and just pick missions and stuff. Uh, this guy sells you various Ugh, things, uh, which <laughs> when I jumped Someone in, I just started buying stuff that looks cool. I bought this dagger with the red stamp on, I bought that sword. Uh, you start off with like. 800 silver coins in the top right there. I'm down to 75 and didn't realize that after every mission you complete, you get about five coins. If you download this game, do not just jump in and buy stuff like I did because <laughs> it's hard to get it back. So you can go into each one of the, uh, the cosmetics and stuff and then you can go into each one of the levels of what you've unlocked for each character and then that shows you the different cosmetics you can unlock for each character and which ones you can do. If you buy something for a character you haven't unlocked, uh, you don't get to use any of it. So uh, do a bit of research into that before doing anything. Same goes with weapons. I downloaded, uh, or I bought the, the sword and the dagger with the red stamps on there, and I can't use either of them because <laughs> I'm not a high enough level. Uh, there is sort of quests and challenges and stuff. There's some quests you can do, uh, some in-game challenges that change sort of daily, and then a summary of something. I haven't even read that. Um, so my character is uh, going up a little bit. I've got to try and find the right menu now. Uh, and then you unlock different things. So I've got lots of different swords, lots of different staffs that all do different things. Uh, and then the, the necklace and the charm and the trinket just seem to boost this thing called hero power, which is in the top left here. My guy has a 102 power. And the way the power is useful is that when you go to uh, select a mission, we'll set up a little, uh, little custom game here. Hopefully I've got this for uh, private games. Yes, I do. So when you go into the missions, you can pick all of the different missions. Me and some of my friends have been doing a couple of games. So I did. Uh, we did a couple of bits of Act 1. I'll just jump back into the normal Act 1 for what it is. Um, but when you come to select the difficulty, you'll see in each of the difficulties here, it has uh, the highest obtainable hero power. So sort of uh, weapons and stuff you can gain have that set number of power. And then the further down you go, that obtainable hero power goes up. But also below it, it has party does not meet requirement. And therefore, you can create a team of four. I don't even know if you can have a team of five, actually, in this, but I've only ever seen teams of four. Uh, and your team of four has to have a hero power worth more than that value. So, of course, I'll only be able to do it on Recruit today because I'm going to be playing it on my own. The next one requires 115. I can't quite do that on my own. So we're going to have to check it on Recruit. But uh, I think it'll be interesting just to, uh, just to check out. There's quite a lot to check out in that main room, but uh, that's not what people have come to see. Let's jump into a game and... Uh, Let's uh, let's go kill some stuff. Let's go into our 
special teleporter. This is what teleports you into the game. Two, one, boom. Okay, here we are. Oh, we're in the rain. I think I actually played this in the uh, in the daytime. So there must be a slight weather system um, in this game. I definitely played this in the daytime the last time. So here we are, guys. So if you play on your own or you don't have a team of four, uh, you do get replaced with bots. So we've got a couple of bots here. Um, hopefully the audio volume is going to be okay. Uh, I did do a bit of testing just before Let's jumping on this video. I, I have a fire god. I hope the rain's going to do uh, <laughs> no damage to me. But I've had a lot of issues with my, uh, my audio capture recently. So hopefully it'll be okay. It's not the loudest game anyway. But uh, so we have a sword. It's a bit of a hack and slash style. Uh, so if you go to like Left 4 Dead, you just sort of mow down standard zombies. It's sort of the same here. There's loads of generic guys that you sort of kill. Um, I've got my staff. My staff is a bit more of like a machine gun. It goes a bit bonkers. I sort of unlock that stuff, which is quite useful. Uh, you can find these things along the way, which are potions that do different things. There's one of speed, one of power. There's one of concentration, just in case you really want to focus. <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea what that does. I play with a couple of friends and none of us can work out. Well, this guy needs to die. Boom! Take him down. <laughs> uh, no, it's a really fun game. I, I enjoy just the sort of the hack and slash element. You just get to murder everything. You get to feel amazing. Whoa, look at these dudes. Where'd he go? There's a green guy. Um, and then just like in um, in Left 4 Dead, there is um, special enemies that have special powers. Oh my goodness, hello. Um, so the last time I played this game, um, I was fighting uh, like orcs. I seem to be fighting rats now. So... I think the uh, the maps actually changed. The weather's changed. The uh, the enemies have changed. So there's a bit of replayability in this. Um, we do also have bombs that you can pick up. The one I'm holding right now is a health potion, uh, just to regain some health. Uh, there is an up button. If you look in the bottom right, you can see where I've got potions and the, uh, the health things there. In the middle is a bomb, but we have to go find bombs to pick up. And then, of course, we have these potions. Uh, that's wine. That is uh, nothing. <laughs> oh, we can give people the potions as well. Uh, and then the big glowing purple diamond skull in the corner. It's like an ultimate attack. Um, my characters, who are these guys fighting? <laughs> you can hear death in the background. Uh, it's like an ultimate attack. The one I have on at the minute is like I, I sort of teleport forwards and produce a whole bunch of fire behind me. Um, so the other ones have more like supporting roles. What on earth is that? <laughs> Some guy's got a good gun. I think that was this uh, guy with like a blunderbuss. Uh, oh, I just murdered a pig by accident. We'll uh, get a couple of these down. So it's just a survival base thing. We'll hack and slash through some rats. Um, come on, we got chop them down, chop them down. Okay, swap back over. So my character has a weird little uh, flaw that I have this sort of machine gun staff. But as you can see in the middle of my screen there, there's a little bar filling up. So when that bar gets up to full, it does produce a huge explosion that does kill um, all the enemies around me, but it does also knock me down, which means, um, of course, then one of your other teammates has to come revive you. Which, if you're in the middle of a horde like this, <laughs> of a thousand rats, uh, it can be a little bit tricky. Um, I haven't seen any uh, special zombies. Oh, there I have. So this guy's uh, a special zombie. He's like a... Uh, uh, if you think of like... Uh, what were they called? The hunters in Left 4 Dead. They sort of pounce on you and then like just start ripping your face off. And uh, you can't do anything to stop it. You have to uh, wait for someone else to get back to... Whoa, hello. <laughs> Good shot, whoever killed him. He comes flying past me. What else we got back here? This guy needs to die. Set him on fire. Um, and climb up the ladder. So there's a lot of different ways you can go around maps and stuff, which I really like. You can uh, sort of do some flanking. Uh, there are these ravaged art things that I'm not really sure what they are. I just think they give you a bit of an XP boost from all I can understand about. There might be more. Oh, hello. These guys uh, snuck up on me. I didn't have my sword out there to defend myself. Uh, there is a block feature which you can use, which I hardly ever use because I'm quite poor at it. <laughs> I just I just swing my sword and hopefully kill a lot of things. Uh, what's down here? Anything amazing around here? Oh, right, what's this? Uh, these are um, healing packs, so they replace the, the healing orb. The healing orb does uh, heal you for a lot more health, um, but the healing packs you can not only use on yourself, you can also use them on your teammates. So if you want to play a bit more of a supporting role, they can be a bit more useful. Oh, he just got <laughs> taken down. Uh, what are you? Oh, we've also got a... Uh... Oh, that doesn't sound good. Throw that over there. Create some bombs. Wait for that to blow up. Did I hit that? Boom, there we go. So yeah, you can use uh, environmental things around you and uh, it causes a big fire. <laughs> <laughs> like that over there, which I'm not going to try and stay away from. Even though I seem to be some sort of fire wizard, fire still does a huge damage to me, apparently. 
Uh, oh, hello, what are you? You just came out of nowhere. All right, let's try and uh, let's try and take a position up here on the stairs and fight our way down. Um, I don't believe there is uh, friendly fire. I don't know if you get into the higher difficulties if uh, friendly fire becomes a bit more of a thing. Uh, but I imagine a bit of a hack and slash game like this, uh, it might be. <laughs> it might not be the best to have friendly fire on because you probably kill nearly everyone on your team. Oh, what are you? A chest? Anything in the chest? No. So sometimes you can find um, potions and different things like that in those chests. Uh, I think we were unlucky today. Uh, I can hear some guy over there. Let's load in some fire. Just try and take out some of them. Uh, we got another health pack. Nothing else of interest. We'll work our way forwards here. There's health packs everywhere, actually. Uh, in fact, I might pick one up, and then I can. Uh, I've got to try and remember how to heal now. Oh, I also have a. Oh yeah, I also have a lightning bolt. <laughs> I forgot about that. I've forgotten how to fire it, which isn't useful. Uh, oh, that was it. Okay, I worked out. Uh, how do I heal? I've forgotten. Uh, there we go. Whoa, what is that? Okay, so this is another special zombie. Uh, they have like a flamethrower. Um, I'm going to heal myself super quick. Um, and you have to try and avoid, uh, obviously, their big green fire. You can kill them by hitting this tank, apparently, which I have yet to be able to do. Um, okay, this is a big open area. If you ever want to know that a big fight's about to happen, this is it. Uh, what are you? You are a potion of concentration. There we are. Not going to pick that up. <laughs> Don't really know what it does. Uh, feels like a bit of a waste of time. Right, let's turn the wheel that it wants me to turn. Oh, open. There we go. I don't know what my guy was doing then. He was <laughs> praying, praying to the wheel. Okay, we're about to get surrounded here. Let's hope my AI can uh, cope with this. It gets pretty intense. Let's get some fire out there. Take out a couple of guys. Let's use my ultimate attack so I can uh, kill a few guys. Whoosh, like that. There we go. So I think that just recharges up over time and... Uh, with you killing other enemies, I think it's slowly built back up. Oh, it's a big dude. Take him down. Okay, we're still holding out. Okay, this guy's got a crossbow. He needs to die. we got some dudes jumping down all in one spot. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, my skull thing isn't quite ready. Oh, no, I'm about to explode. <laughs> I did a bad thing. Boom. So there we are. So that's what happens, guys. If I, uh, if I, that bar fills up too much, I burst into flames and kill everything around me, including myself. Uh, that seems about right for uh, one of my games. <laughs> okay, oh no, does it go over there? Let's take him down. Go, 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 go. I can't work out how to hit this guy's tank <laughs> to kill him. Uh, but we seem to have survived this general fight here. Uh, right, what have I got health potion wise? I'm going to drink my big health potion. So you'll see that fills me up a lot more. Um, I'll take that one because I just apparently managed to kill myself during that fight. These fights are also quite fun. They go on for ages. Um, I probably cut quite a lot out there <laughs> of just, just how long those fights go on for, but it is fun to do. Um, any other health packs or anything we want to pick up? Okay, that's a horn. I don't think we want to hang around. So what else that I quite like in this game is that if you hang around in an area for too long, it just throws a wave of enemies at you, which I, uh, I really like. So you have to, you, it doesn't really give you a chance to sort of stop, you just have to keep going. Okay, we'll uh, take them out as they come through here. Okay, defend the... <laughs> Someone's not paying these guys enough over here. <laughs> it's just, you want to come through my window, not on my watch. <laughs> okay, uh, oh there's a chest, what's the chest? Oh ammo, I don't need ammo. Um, so some of the other characters need ammo for um, bows and arrows and guns and stuff. Uh, how do I operate this? Oh, there. Oh, okay. That was another special zombie. Uh, zombie? <laughs> I have got Left 4 Dead on the brain now. A special rat thing that uh, conjures up like storms and stuff. Um, I don't want to fight him for too long. Uh, but the maps are really nice. They're really, really pretty. They're really well done. Um, it feels really sort of grungy, like you are. Okay. What's that noise? Okay. Oh, did we kill him? Well done. Well done, AI. <laughs> Apparently the AI on uh, on Recruit Difficulty do a lot for you. Uh, oh, oh, well. He just stole all my potions. <laughs> oh, there's another Ravaged Art. We'll pick up one of them. Um, there is an in-game um, chat system on the left there, which is used for like, if you pick up stuff or uh, if you were just playing with random people online, you didn't want to use your microphone, you can chat to them. I have no idea. 
what any of the buttons are for it um, or how you use it, but it is there. <laughs> That's right, guys. You came to me for the good content. <laughs> super, super well explained, like a professional. Uh, let's kill those dudes. Uh, that doesn't sound good. What's that? Okay, so this is a strangler. Um, they are the equivalency of um, smokers, if you were playing Left 4 Dead. Uh, they have like a long hook and they sort of hook it around your neck and um, they sort of drag you off towards them and then do some damage and you can't do anything, you have to wait for someone else on your team to save you um, which can put the fear of God into you if you're not ready for it <laughs> uh, got another exploding canister um, I nearly killed myself with that exploding canister uh, I got another one of these things, there's another two here um, I don't know if in the harder difficulties, uh, even when I've been playing off camera in this game. Uh, we haven't been able to get into some of the hard difficulties yet because I only downloaded this game about a week ago and haven't played it that much. I've been doing a load of zombies runs. Um, so I haven't been able to unlock it. The oh, there's a bomb, right. We'll pick up an incendiary bomb. Uh, but we haven't been able to get the uh, the hero power up high enough to try some of the, the higher difficulty levels. I don't know if higher difficulty just means more enemies or tougher enemies or if it means like there are, you know, less potions, less health things around. Okay, these guys are just going to charge through here. I'm going to try and take up a front assault here. Okay, this guy's quite big. Oh, what's that? I'm just going to fire through the gas here, because he was over there somewhere. Okay. Hopefully I did some damage to him. Some guy like threw in like a gas bomb, and that was intense. Okay, let's walk through. Hack and slash. My AI are doing absolutely loads for me <laughs> in this video so far. Um... Okay, where, where am I going? Do I go around there or around here? Oh, well, this guy's in a lot of trouble over here. <laughs> he, just, he didn't want to be involved in that main fight, did he? Uh, right, what's in here? Uh, oh, hello. Take this guy out on his own. He's obviously guarding this chest over here. Uh, so there's a health potion. There's another incendiary bomb. I don't need another incendiary bomb. Uh, was there anything else in this room? There is quite a lot of little things you can find just around on the map, which I do quite like, actually. Uh, nothing over there. That's just another concentration thing. Uh, yeah, I will probably use some of the potions just to show them off, but uh, the concentration on, I really have no idea what that actually does. I probably should have researched that before this video. I can hear people screaming. People fighting, like, through here. Oh, wow, he came out of nowhere. Right, let's keep going. Uh... Yeah, that guy, that's fine. Let's work our way up the stairs. Boom. Boom. Oh, look at these guys out here. That's not where you want to be. Oh, I've got to be careful about my blast radius thing. Uh, nothing else to pick up. There's another bomb. In fact, I might get a... In fact, well, let's wait for them to be uh, a bit closer together before I start using bombs, I reckon. Whoa! <laughs> that guy's blunderbuss is just insane. Uh, some more ammo. There's a what? Oh my goodness! Okay, let's just throw a bomb at him. I think I just got thrown up on by a troll. Uh, so yeah, there are like big bosses. This would be probably the equivalency is like a, a tank in Left 4 Dead. Um, they sort of come out of nowhere and they have quite a lot of health to deal with. Oh, okay, in he comes. Uh, is he like stuck up on there? What's he doing? Okay, I'm just going to run in closer and blow up in his face. <laughs> I can't see anything. Somebody get me up. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's use my ultimate attack and try to do some big damage there to him. Okay. I probably need to uh, drink some potions. Leave me alone. <laughs> They're sneaking up on me. Okay. Let's go through. How's he doing? I mean, he's taking this well. Oh, oh I'm going to blow up again. <laughs> Boom. Uh, yeah, something I've not been focusing on brilliantly is uh, how much I can have this. Guys? Anyone? <laughs> there we are. Thank you, teammate. Very helpful. Well, they, uh, they wanted to kill the big guy first. I mean, I can't blame them. If this was real life, I too would probably want to uh, kill that thing first. Uh, I have no health. I need someone to give me. So... I don't well, I don't need ammunition. Um, so when you get revived, guys, you, uh, you do spawn back up, but you have uh, the sort of white health bar. And the, uh, the white health bar, I can hear a guy screaming somewhere. Uh, the white health bar does decrease over time until you get healed. Are you healing me? Can I have that? 
Can I have that off you, please? <laughs> it would be useful. Um, let's see if there's anything in here. Potion of strength. I'll take a potion of strength. I can probably do a bit more damage then. Um, nothing through here. I could really do with a health kit. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Well spotted. <laughs> the AI are on point in this game. Uh, anything around there? No. Uh, so there isn't a sprint function in this game, um, which is uh, it annoys me a little bit, but actually it is quite useful when you're playing with other people, just that people don't run miles ahead. Um, I'm going to pick up a normal bomb rather than the incendiary bomb. Um, I feel like they has a little bit more of an impact straight from the off. Uh, oh, what are you? Oh, for the love of, there's a warp a tomb. Oh. Did I have a healing thing all along? I just didn't realise. Uh, right, I don't know what a tomb is, but I have one. <laughs> um, who's fighting? I can hear it. Let's try and kill that guy. There we go. These guys just sneak out of everywhere, don't they? Okay, let's uh, get back up to my friend. I can still hear people screaming. I don't know what's going on. Right, let's go here. Okay, you can see quite a few guys together. I'm just going to throw a bomb over there. Boom! <laughs> get some big kills in. What is that thing on the ground? Don't like the look of that thing. It looks big, whatever it is. Well, I mean... Would you really make that jump? That doesn't seem clever at all. Let's just uh, fire off a couple of hot shots over there. Doosh, 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 doosh. I've been playing Star Wars Squadrons. <laughs> I know how to fire at range. Okay. Uh, a lot of green fire everywhere. Uh, what is this dude? Anything to do with you? Hopefully you don't stand back up because he look big. Let's take on this guy. Boosh. Take him down. Keep moving forwards, guys. I uh, don't need anything over here. Some more guys over here. Oh, quite a few guys over here. I'll slowly try and thin the crowd out a little bit and help some of Assassin! Where's there an assassin? Oh, there he is! <laughs> of course, he lands on me. That was, uh... Is he dead or has he just disappeared? Oh, he's got me again! What's it? <laughs> he's just targeting me! This is outrageous! Oh, okay. Let's try and hold out this little bit over here. Oh my goodness! Okay. Let's use my ultimate here somewhere. Boom. Just try and thin out the herd a bit for my other teammates. Just keep going. Keep slashing them down. I just, I love how intense this game gets out of nowhere. You just get attacked by like waves of enemies. And like, it is quite intense, even though they're not hard to kill. Um, I'm sure if you were doing this on a harder difficulty, this uh, this would ramp up quite a lot. Let's kill this guy, finish you off. Uh, I think we need to go ring this bell that was up here, if I remember how to do this level. Let's climb up here. Uh, oh, look at these guys, just chilling on the far side. Try and thin some of them down a little bit. There we go. Oh wow, they're still coming for us. The music. Oh, <laughs> good shot. Uh, right, let's. Oh, is it? Oh no, we've got to move this thing. That was it. Okay. I can go across here. Ah, yes, I had to do the cannon. I remember now. Um, Drop down. I cannot believe I'm condoning a cannon's use. Fire the cannon. Boom, there we go. We broke our way in. Okay. A what? Oh, I can't help them. <laughs> there was a something rat I heard the uh, woman call out then. Okay, do I have a health kit? Oh, I. Stop stealing my health kits! <laughs> You're all on like full health! Why do you need the health kits? The temple's ahead. 
Oh, I can see these guys sneaking up on the side here. Oh, that guy had some health there. Uh, let's work our way through. Let's fire some beams out. I don't want to overheat again. Okay, there's some more health. I need the health. Hang on. I kind of prefer one of them to take the uh, the tomb thing. I don't think they're going to, though. Let's put that down. Pick back up the tomb. Um, I think you can just go through and get it through to the end. Oh, good shots on the hit. Oh, an arrow there. There we go. Just keep pushing forwards. Take him down. Oh, there is actually a... Uh, Oh, it's uh, an ammo chest. I thought it was a, like a secret chest then. It twas not. Uh, there's a health kit. How? Why are these guys using their health so often? <laughs> they, they are like, they're taking like 10% of damage. And they're like, yep, time to heal it all back up again. That didn't sound good. Right. Did I hear something sneaking up on us then? I take it there's going to be people in here. Yep. Okay, let's try and take some of you guys out. There's a thing over here. I don't want speed. Ow! <laughs> guys, someone take him out. Okay, the guy just broke the door. I was going to try and use the door as a bit of safety. Okay, what's going on here? I can see this guy sneaking around out here. Okay, let's, uh... Okay, there's a few coming in. I'm going to go for the big ultimate. Whoosh! There we go. Okay, I'll defend the inside. You guys defend that outside. I set everyone on fire up there, so you should be okay. Uh, where did that big guy go? I did see him somewhere. Whoosh! Take a seat. Okay. There he is. I can see him now over this side. Boom! Took him down. There we go. No damage from that guy. Those guys, um, they're not quite the same as boomers. in uh, <laughs> Not in the political sense or whatever people use it for now. But um, in boomers in uh, Left 4 Dead that um, sort of exploded and covered you in goo and then zombies would come after you. In this, they're sort of like mages that sort of suck you in in like a green mist and while you're being sucked in the the, zomb uh, the other sort of enemies sort of go crazy just wanting to kill you okay let's work our way through here it's fine I've still got a bomb on me for now so I can hold out there's a couple of medical supplies we're not going to take the medical supplies just yet because if I remember I think this gets a bit intense over here let's go boys doosh 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 Taking him down. Nice. Yeah, so that guy has like an ultimate attack that sort of knocks all the enemies down. Oh, this guy's got a shield. He came ready to fight. Uh, let's work our way up here. Okay, this guy looks like someone I don't want to mess with. I don't know what that thing was, but he needed to die. Okay, we're into... Uh, oh, no. Uh, sorry, I was going to say we're into something else now. Now we've got a big boss fight. Whoosh! <laughs> Love that fire attack. Super useful for just knocking down a whole wave of enemies there. Okay. Oh, this is a big guy. Let's try and get as many hits in as possible here. There we go. Let's get some fire in there. Let's throw a lightning bolt. Whoosh! <laughs> I am Zeus of fire. Okay. Is that a guy hanging up on there? No. <laughs> uh, right, how are we looking health-wise? Uh, I'm looking okay. Look They're looking the okay. I mean, I might as well take one. Even if I'm... Uh... What do you mean? I am... I can hear some evil voices. Uh... Let's have a wander on through. Okay, what was that? A what? <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Just someone got killed in the background there. Uh, okay, let's Better work our way in. Not the bells. Oh, ratties love their bells. Oh, he's... <laughs> that guy had a bad day. <laughs> um, grab anything we can. Anything we can. There's nothing to grab. Right, where are we going here? 
Okay. We've got to activate a bell. Anything over on these sides. Doesn't look like it. Well, that might be a good place to hold up. Although, if they can climb up the sides, that'd be a bit of a nightmare, but... Whoa! Oh, damn, I just used my... <laughs> I just used my... My ultimate attack then. Shouldn't have done that. Right. Um, also, it does actually look like the ultimate just replenishes over time. I thought it was based on uh, killing enemies, but it looks like it's just after waiting. Hopefully, this will uh, heal up. If this doesn't look like a boss fight to you guys, I don't know what does. <laughs> this large arena. It's a dead end and nowhere to go. Uh, and some sort of giant statue. Okay. I can hear guys climbing down the walls, going crazy. Boom! Let's begin with a big bomb explosion. Try and whittle down some numbers to begin. They are just pouring in through there. My goodness. Okay, I'm going to stay away from that gas. Oh, well, this is good. Ow, ow. Okay, so the flamethrower guys actually push you as well when they uh, do damage. As long as it's doing damage, you can't actually get close and sort of sword fight them. Oh. This guy's strong. Let's try and get some blocking in. <laughs> I don't like using blocks. Whoosh! Flamethrower! <laughs> That's what you wanted. Clear out some people. Let's go over here. Let's kill that guy throwing bombs. I can see him from miles away. Ow! Ow, it's doing big damage! Thank you, good pickup. <laughs> uh, I do not have any health at the minute. Okay. I'm just going to carry my book to the finish line, apparently. Um, I doubt I can probably sneak back out the way I came in. Uh, yep, they've closed the doors. They were clever about that, so... Oh, someone actually healed me. I've got back to green health. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> Whoever did that on my team. Okay, let's hack and slash some more dudes down here. Defend the stairs! Okay, there's another gas bomb dude. Ow, these... Th oh, animus... Oh, my goodness! So there's also these guys that have, like, a Gatling gun thing on the go. And uh, do some big damage. He can die. I'm not fighting him. Okay. Is the Gatling guy still alive? Okay, well, I'm probably about to waste a bomb there, but there we go. Oh, my goodness. There's so many of them. <laughs> Hopefully that fire will create a bit of a defensive wall for us. Uh, we got gas on the other side. I got a guy. Oh, it's a dwarf. I just <laughs> killing my own man. This pillar is slowly lifting up. Taking its time. Uh, okay, let's get some kills in here. Try and will down those numbers as a guy with a crossbow. We want to try and slash our way through. Oh, no. The guy with the hook got us. Someone save us. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like all the extra enemies just attack me personally in a, in a solo run. Um, oh, there's some big rats. Got to take down the big rats. Let's finish those guys off in the corner. We got some more here. I love this machine gun fire ability that I have. Oh, good ultimate there, knocking down a whole bunch of them for me. I'm just going to swing, keep swinging a sword <laughs> wildly. Oh, okay. I think we made it. I think we managed to do it. Okay, we've got to escape through the Bridge of Shadows. Uh, oh, I fell. Nah, that's fine. There's no fall damage. <laughs> so you get into the portal. Uh, this is how the missions end. Uh, okay, I didn't even need the rest of my team. Victorious. Yes, I am. <laughs> So this is how you gain uh, experience. So we're going to go up to level 7 there. Uh, Pyromancer career unlocked. Oh, I've uh, unlocked the second version of my character, apparently. Uh, you also receive chests. That's how you get items from the end of doing things. Will I make it to level 8? Not quite. Nearly, but not quite. Um, so yeah, you get uh, different uh, like upgrades for your chest that you get, depending on what you manage to pick up. Um, I didn't get any of the loot dice or anything. Uh, so we've got stronghold chest. Uh, and it gives you a scoreboard at the end there, so you can see how much better you did than all of your teammates. Uh, <laughs> I think most self-kills must go to me with my fire attack. Uh, <laughs> so then you end up back in uh, back in this main room. Uh, you can change your hero, of course. Uh, so I've now got my second hero. Uh, so what's the difference? He, uh, 
After not casting spells for six seconds, automatically ventilates overcharge. Uh, increase critical strike chance based on overcharge level up to 30%. So if I overheat a little bit, I uh, actually do more damage. Um, and then I believe the skill is the, uh, like your ultimate moves, so that's the teleportation one. Um, this is a fiery projectile that seeks out foes. I mean, that could be useful. I mean, I'll change characters just to see how it uh, looks when I change over. So this is now me. There we go. I've got some different armor. I've got some uh, some fire skulls on the go. Um, once you uh, finish the missions, you do unlock stuff in the uh, in the center here. So this is your spoils of war after each thing. So we've got a uh, commendation chest. Let's see what we got in this. Uh, so it brings up these little pods. There's multiple rarities. So if it's green, it's like sort of uncommon. Um, so we've got a mace so that replaces our sword. Um, a different staff. And then the white one there is just like a common. That's just something you'll get. So that's probably the least amount of power. Um, there is also like uh, orange, which is I think like a rare, I'd probably call that one. So we've got a dagger, uh, a beam staff. So it does so rather than being like a machine gun, it fires a direct beam of fire. Uh, and then another trinket, which uh, you just sort of have to hope is better. Um, and then of course you can uh, change your character a little bit. You can put on your new staff. Let's have a look at the sword. Uh, Looks like uh, that's the sword I'm using at the minute. Is down here, is it? Wait, what sword have I just been using? <laughs> uh, oh, that's the one I'm using. The uh, no, wait, what? Have I just been using like the worst sword for all of that, or is it because I? Oh, it's because I've changed characters. <laughs> I said, well, that's a terrible decision. Um, so I've probably put on uh, this new dagger has more power. Uh, and it does, so which means I guess it just does more damage overall. Uh, the staff, I really like the, um, I have this sputtering bolt staff, even though these ones do technically more damage. Um, I really like this because it does the, the machine gun effect, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, the necklace, um, I don't really know what any of these do. I just tend to put, some of these ones have the properties that have special features. The rest of them are all just blank though, so I just tend to put on the one, um, it's much better for me just to have an extra bit of blocking. It has the highest power. So as you can see, every time I put a new one on, my hero power goes up. Charm, uh, same deal. Put the biggest one on. Uh, and then the trinket. Uh, I actually have a slightly bigger trinket this time. 60, boom. Let's get that on. So my hero power is now 119. Um, did we do any interesting challenges in that one? Uh, what about the quests? Doesn't look like anything superb happened in quests. Uh, uh, in the progress. Um, so you have different things you want to do, so this is the actual missions, uh, some of the heroes have specific uh, challenges to do, killing certain enemies has certain chests and stuff, so that's just how you unlock weapons easier, rather than buying them from, uh, from this guy, um, who does sell you more, so obviously now I can, uh, if I go into the purchases, I can now buy all of this level stuff, or I can buy the level 7 stuff, which uh, I think is mainly a cosmetic thing, as far as I'm aware. Uh, you know, headgear and stuff, so you can put some intense headgear on the go. I mean, <laughs> do you want to show off a bit there? Um, or you have weapon illusions, which I think just add stuff onto your, like, a fire thing there. Um, or, like, some of the... What does this one look like? So it has, like, a sparkly effect on your sword and stuff. Uh, I haven't explored them too many, just because I haven't been able to actually afford anything in this game. It is ridiculously hard to get coins. Um, but that's a, just a general breakdown of how it all works, and obviously as you get higher levels, you unlock different characters and stuff. Uh, but I'll keep with this guy for now with the machine gun fireballs. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today, guys. Uh, this has just been a quick look at this game. Um, it might be something you might be interested in. If you have Game Pass, you were just sort of umming and ahhing about is it worth the uh, deleting a game in your hard drive to fit in a 65 gig game, whatever this is now. Um, uh, just to give you a bit of a quick rundown of how it all works, how the system works, how the the gameplay looks like some of the characters and stuff um just a bit of a, an information video really if you've enjoyed today's video guys make sure you leave it a like and uh, subscribe to the channel we do have a lot of different content coming up whole bunch of games uh, i am doing a zombie series at the minute which has been a lot of fun to shoot uh so if you guys are enjoying those sorts of series make sure you subscribe just to keep up to date with all of it as it's coming out i'll see you all next time guys bye bye